tonight, I'm going to go ahead and I thought I'd do a cook with me uh, for the air fryer pork chops that I'm going to be making. This was one of the meals that I prepped on Sunday. I don't know if that's on you good. Uh, this was one of the meals that I prepped on Sunday, and I am going to be pairing it with stuffing. And I was originally doing Brussels sprouts, but we ended up having Brussels sprouts with the salmon last night. So tonight I'm just going to do peas. So for this recipe, I have uh, five ounce, these are each five ounce of pork chops. These are the center cut boneless pork chops. And then I have one egg. So for the topping, this is, um, actually this is enough to make six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a third of it out and then that way um, I will have some for another time. So I'm gonna give you the ingredients for six and then if you want to use a different amount, amount you just have to adjust it. So for six you're gonna need one half cup panko, one third cup crush, crushed cornflake crumbs, two tablespoons of grated Parmesan, one and one quarter teaspoon of sweet paprika, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, and one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, I did not have chili powder for this, so I just used a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm thinking it's probably gonna give it somewhat the similar same taste. Um, it's such a small amount, a quarter of a teaspoon, that I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. And then um, I am actually using stove top stuffing, and I only took enough stuffing out for two portions so that we are not tempted to have more stuffing, because I tend to really like stuffing, and these are carbs like this, I try to just have the one portion. So that is, that's the ingredients, and I will show you what we need to do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and salt and pepper the pork chops. And then I went ahead and weighed out the breading um, so that I can save the rest. So now what I've done is I've just labeled my bag air fryer pork breading and I put that there's enough in here for four chops and I'll just put that in my pantry for next time. And then I have one egg that I have beaten up. <laughs> that sounded funny, sorry. <laughs> I have one beaten egg. <laughs> I'm going to spray my air fryer basket. And then we're just gonna dip the pork chops into the egg and then into the breading. I'll try and get it where you can see it. And then I usually press it down so that it can really adhere to it. And then flip it over. Try and get it all around the sides too. And that goes into the air fryer. Okay, then we're just going to put those in the air fryer for um, about 12 minutes. We're going to flip them halfway, and um, I usually just spritz them with uh, olive oil spray um, after, 
before and after I flipped them. And I had my air fryer preheated to 400 degrees. I always preheat my air fryer. Some people say you don't have to, but I always preheat mine first. So I will show you what they look like when they're done. Okay guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. I totally forgot to video after it got done. And I've already cleaned up my kitchen, we've already eaten, and yeah. So I'm going to put a picture in, I'll see what this video looks like. And I think I could just put a picture in, but it ended up being, the recipe was 7 points, and but when I plugged it in, mine ended up being 5 points. So I'll show you the picture. It's 5 points for the pork chop, 3 points for my stuffing, and 0 for my peas. I will talk to everybody later. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise I don't do this all the time. Make sure to click the notification bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload new content. I'll see everybody in my next video. I'm Christine. I'm planning us healthy.